Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking care of the oil pump on this M62 to E36 swap. Um, so we're gonna be putting in the modified oil pump that it came with, uh, the kit came with, Cybolt kit. And uh, once we get that pump in, then we can get the aftermarket pan on, and then we can test with the engine in the car to make sure everything's gonna fit properly. So it's super exciting. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, like and comment, and uh, let me know if you guys are liking this series. So let's get into it. So this is the pump. This is the factory oil pump. And this is the modified pump. <clears throat> There's a couple differences. You can see where like the pickup hole is different and uh, the length. If you look at that, that's longer than that. So there is a couple differences, but it's all to be able to fit into this pan. All right, so now that we got the cover off, we can pop this gear off and we'll be able to take the chain off. So once we get this chain off, then we get the bolts out. There's three, one, two, one right there, and another one back here. All right, so I did get the pump off. Um, little warning, so there's gonna be a tube that comes out of this hole, and this is going to be in the bottom of the pump. Uh, this is this has O-rings in it, I believe, yeah. It's got O-ring, it's like O-ring fitted, so it's kind of snug, so you have to wiggle it back and forth while pulling, and it should just pop off. All right, so now the studded should be on the right, and the non-studded should be on the left. You're gonna tighten them down to 20 newton meters so that hole right there you're gonna want to stuff i just took a little bit of like this shop cloth and i pushed it down in there um because you're going to be drilling this with a 6.8 millimeter drill you're drilling this hole tiny hole uh, but you want to put something in it so that the shavings don't drop down in there 25 to 30 millimeters uh, deep um, so pretty much any tape measure should have that and so basically what i did is I just measured from, I like set it on the table, measured, and put a piece of tape so you can know where to stop. Um, you don't wanna to drill too deep. So I did like closer to the 25 mil side. Um, I didn't wanna to go too deep, but yeah, so we're gonna be drilling it. And then once we get that hole drilled, we need a tap for M8. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that tonight because I need to go get taps. <laughs> so yeah, so let's, uh, let's get to drilling. All right guys, this is day two for putting the uh, pan on and uh, the aftermarket oil pump. Tap the hole and um, you're supposed to put a set screw in there to pretty much block off the hole and uh, they forgot it in the kit. So I'm not gonna wait like four weeks for some bolt. So I just, I found an M8 by 1.0 bolt and I plugged the hole and I, yeah, I just made it fit. So I pretty much put, once I put the bolt in, I cut off the head. Um, this shouldn't be in the way of anything. Now that we have that done, we can actually uh, put the pan on, uh, which is super exciting. So we're gonna get the, putting the gasket on, put the pan on, and then mounting up the sun, um, the oil pump. Sliding it on. 
why I found it. This is the, uh, the plug that they wanted you to put in. All right, so we have the proper in there, just in case, I don't know. Just in case I have to take it out or whatever. So now that that's in there, get this shit all lined up again. So we just put these two screws in on this side just to hold the gasket and the pan down. So basically, basically, uh, I took off the, the drive gear, put the T in, and then uh, we're gonna be able to put this in now. All right, I don't know if this will make sense, but you have to do these two first, and it lines everything else up, and then you're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the bolts in. This is gonna run across here, and it's gonna run across this bottom, and then we're gonna set the uh, sump in. Um, the sump is a little bit tricky. I just tried putting it in, because I'm trying to figure it all out <clears throat> as we go. The instructions are pretty clear, but they they miss some minor details here and there. So I hope this video kind of clarifies it. If not, leave a comment down below, and I'll personally message you uh, any, any questions that you have. Um, I'll try and answer them. So yeah, we're gonna put the rest of these screws in for the pan now, all the way around. All right, so I had to come in separate. They literally put all the nuts and bolts in one bag, and then the instructions are pretty much use this bolt and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't make any sense. So I separated it. So um, by all these little nuts, there's only three of these big nuts. All these look about the same, so I'm guessing these are for the pan a bunch of these washers so the problem i'm running into is that the pan bolts aren't short enough so my guess is that they're just stacking washers on top of them to make it fit that's why there's so many and then uh, there's a couple big bolts big washers medium washers drain plug um, crush washer and an extra plug i'm guessing all right your boy is a little bit of a dumbass um, <laughs> The reason why those bolts don't fit is because they don't go there. Uh, you want to use the stock OE. Uh, excuse me. Bro, can you freaking not? I'm trying to record here. You want to use the stock OE pan bolts that you use on the original pan um, to put the pan on. And then those other bolts are actually going to be for the top part of the pan. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to call it a night. I dropped the bolt down into the fucking bottom in so uh i i amazon prime some like magnet tools like bendy ones because i gotta get like behind the rod and shit Let's see, like, right there yep, that's the bolt and the tool is underneath the rod right there you can't see it it's gonna be really difficult it's just like the oil sump the oil pump uh, bolts so I have one in. So yeah, once we get that in, then we can put the, uh, the drive gear on with the chain, check the tension, and then we can move on. All right guys, I think this is like day three. I don't know, I kind of lost track. It's been like too many days since the last one. Um, I got the pump in and um, I got the drive gear on with the chain. Okay, let me just show you. So, pump is in, secured with the chain. So basically, uh, you wanna leave the bolts loose and then you can tilt it forward, put the, the chain gear, the drive gear on with the chain and then tighten all the bolts down. Tighten this down and make sure that you check your chain slack. Um, I forgot what the spec is, but it's all mine. But yeah, so now with this done, we can put the other gasket on, put the top of this thing on, and then we can start working on the engine mounts. So, this was probably the hardest part of the entire swap. 
So with this done, we can actually probably make some progress a lot faster. I'm super excited about this and thank you guys so much for watching the series so far. Um, it seems like a lot of people are really interested in this swap and uh, I'm really excited that I could actually bring these videos to you guys. So if you guys do like these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, like and comment. So, but yeah, so with these videos doing so well, we're gonna keep going just step by step so that people can have a video or people can have like a guide to do the swap. So thanks guys.